Amazon sellers, this video will show you how to use retargeting on Facebook to drive more sales on Amazon. Last week I was looking at one of my digital brands and I, online I had two Facebook campaigns going on and uh, one was for cold traffic in my niche and the other one was retargeting people who had visited my page and I realized that all of my conversions were coming from my retargeting campaign. So I took that strategy that I had noticed in my digital brand and I just started to apply it to my physical brand which is which is Amazon products. and. It is actually working just as well. Um, I'm now converting. I'm doing a 50% off sale on Facebook right now. I have other funnels that I have documented for my seller pal, our software for doing low price, for getting initial reviews to, to cold traffic on Facebook, and that has a lot to do with doing low price. But I don't want to do a low price for these type of funnels that I'm doing right now. I want to do um, I want to do discounts. And if you're targeting cold traffic, um, and they don't know your brand, you're gonna have a little bit. You're gonna have you're gonna have more friction there. So what I'm what I've done, which is working out really really well, is now I'm doing retargeting that traffic that actually had clicked through to my landing page. So I'm gonna go through step by step on showing you how you can drive external traffic. That external traffic can be Facebook, it can be YouTube, it can be from your own email list and so forth. And the people who click through to actually then retarget them on Facebook to to give your Amazon product offers on Facebook to people who. Who have who have raised their hand and say they're interested? You know we're all very busy in today's world. So if you look at your phone and there's something that you actually really might want at a discount that you see on sale on Facebook, you might get distracted by something and step away. So you, those retargeting ads are 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 key. Um, I've heard so much about them and so forth in the past, and I had done a little bit of it in the past, but I really started to focus on my metrics and. There's no doubt that it's it's working for me really well, so I'm going to show you step by step in this guide on how to set it up for yourself. And here, let's go. So the first thing you're going to need to do for retargeting is to create a retargeting pixel. I'm going to show you how to do it with a Facebook pixel, but it's a similar process for Google. If you want to paste that that stuff into your your landing page or wherever you're going to drive traffic to. Now, you're not going to drive traffic straight to Amazon because you cannot retarget people on Amazon directly and so forth. Amazon doesn't let you put your retargeting pixel on on the, on their website. So if you're investing into emailing people, driving Facebook ads, driving or uh, creating YouTube videos to promote your products, uh, Pinterest, etc., any of these external traffic sources, you're going to want to drive to some intermediate landing page. And yes, we have a product, My Seller Pal, which actually makes that really, really easy that you just type in your ASIN and out pops a landing page. You can do this, but I want this tutorial to be useful for you if you have your own WordPress site or whatever, if you're a web developer and you want to roll your own kind of solution, the same process follows. So. Let's go into Facebook here, and we're going to. I'm in the business, the business app for setting up a pixel. I believe that this is very similar for for if you have an individual account. So what? I, and here I'm going to click on set up pixel, and basically, um, they support two different two different things here. They support a tag manager, which I'm not going to get into. That's for uh, something that's a little bit more advanced. But we also have. A copy and paste code, and this is by far the simplest way to go. So I'm going to click copy and paste code, and here, what you have here is F Facebook pops out a little bit of HTML code that you can take here, and you take this code and you copy it. It's copied to my clipboard, and now we're going to paste that into a landing page. So I'm going to go and scroll down here. There's some event codes and some other things that you could that you could potentially do. Here we're not going to get into that, but I will go to my seller pal now, which is my landing page platform for a product that we have that I have set up beforehand. So here on my seller pal, you can create landing pages by just by putting in an ASIN. Um, if you again, if you have some other landing page platform that you that you use, that's cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to edit my landing page on my seller pal, and then I'm going to scroll down. To this is for a uh, a yoga mat here, and I'm going to scroll down to a script section, and now I'm just going to simply paste that that in here. I use Control V on the um, on the the PC. It's a uh, Command V on on a Mac, and that just pasted that in here. So now if I click Update Landing Page, what will happen is now when I go to this this landing page here and I click on this that script 
will be in the page. If I do a view source here, that that actual script will be within the landing page. Now, if I draw traf if I drive traffic to this page, um, <clears throat> what I can do within Facebook is I can do something called create a, a custom a custom audience, and I'm gonna just bring this down a little bit here, and I can then target people who had, oops. Here we go. I'm sorry about that. What I can do here is I can then target people who have gone to this specific URL or to this website on my seller pal. You get a unique URL for your site and for your landing page and so forth. So I could take this and then go into into Facebook and target that trap and target people who had been to that that page. And so I would create a campaign that would say people who have gone to this URL, a custom audience, which I can show you in, in a minute. Um, and retarget them with an ad set. So I'll go then to that that now and show you how that's done within Facebook. All right, so now we're within Facebook, and the next thing you're going to want to do to target people who have been to your landing page is to create a custom audience. Um, within Facebook, they give you an ability to create an audience of people who have actually been to your site. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on Create Audience, and then do Custom Audience. I want to choose Website Traffic. And then what I can do is my landing page URL over here, I'm gonna go over here and copy this. Um, what I can do within Facebook is I can choose, say I want to target people who had specifically been to this, to this promotion for this yoga mat and hit them up over and over again. What I could do is I could say, people who had been to a specific web page, and then I could paste this URL in here, which was my URL on my seller pal for that landing page. And then I can create the custom audience here, and I could say, um, "Yoga mat visits." Okay, and take this out here. So now this I can do create custom audience, and what we'll do is it that I'll click create on that. Facebook will say the size is too small originally. It takes like a little while for them to, to create the audience. Um, it's sometimes it's taken an hour or two for me, but you need a minimum of 20 people that have visited your, your page before. So I'm gonna create this audience and I'm gonna go show you how to create an ad targeting those people. All right, let's go to that next. Hey, so what's up? So now I'm in the Facebook Ads Manager and I'm creating an ad for retargeting. So what you would do is for this one, I'm clicking the objective here. I filled this out already. I chose traffic. In a few in a minute or two, I'm going to show you how to choose conversions and do that and, and optimize for conversions, which is people to click through and actually take, up, take you up on your offer. So I chose traffic here. And then if I go to the ad set, I filled out the custom audience yoga mat visits, which is what we created in the last step. Now this will target only people who have been to that specific landing page. And then I can set up my ad um, with all, all the parameters that I'm comfortable with for retargeting to that audience. And Facebook's gonna optimize, is gonna show the ad to people who have visited to the landing page before, and it's gonna optimize for clicks. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up a convert, something to optimize for conversion. So when someone comes to the landing page, I would like I want to I want to track the people who actually click on the button so that I can then retarget those people in the future and I can also I want to optimize for people clicking on that button. So what we need to do is do a custom conversion. Even if you do just what we did here so far, you're going to be way ahead of the game by retargeting in this, but this next step is an is an additional step to optimize for the people who are actually going to click and take you up on your offer. So this was again this is retargeting and hitting up people who have been to your landing page before and showing ads just to them which has worked wonderfully for me now I'm gonna go through and and show you how to do a conversion setup so that you can optimize for conversions so let's do that next all right so now here we are within uh, my seller pal I want to target people who I want to now track people who actually take me up on my offer so on that landing page the yoga mat that we saw I'm gonna create a new promotion which is <clears throat> I'm gonna do an instant opt-in promotion which is simply going to give the people a button to click that will show them a code instantaneously no email opt-in and then we'll take them over and then take them over to Amazon so I'm gonna set that up now and on that secondary page we can then paste the Facebook co pixel code in and create a, a custom conversion so here we go. We're going to go through this. I'm going to do a new promotion on my seller pal. I'm going to say instant yoga mat 
opt-in and I'm gonna choose the landing page there yoga mat and promotion type instead of email opt-in we can we can ask for an email address but Remember, asking for an email address to cold traffic is a lot of is friction. So you're you're most likely going to spend more in ads to do that, or <clears throat> it's much better if you have an influencer, or if you have a, a customer list, or if you're doing some crazy discount for the email opt-in. So I'm going to do instant opt-in, which is going to give us the ability still to retarget people who click on the button, which is which is really really powerful. Um, I'm planning on using this for a review follow-up sequence so that I know that people who actually took me up on my promotion, I'm going to re-hit them up on Facebook and say, hey, did you like these products? And then I'm going to follow up with them and have conversations on Facebook because I know that they took me up on my offer. Um, <clears throat> so this is really powerful. But what we're going to do here is we're setting this up so that we can create a, a Facebook conversion so that fa your Facebook ad can optimize the people who are actually clicking through to take you up on your offer. So. I know that's a lot to 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 take at one time. Feel free to rewind this video, and also we can we can step through this uh, step by step here. So I just want to give you an overview. So here we go. We're going to do edit this promotion, and the whole purpose of doing this instant opt-in is so that we can track these conversions. So in my seller pal, I'm going to enable this promotion. I'm going to do something here that allows multiple redemptions per IP address. That's just something that you could so that me from the same computer I can redeem the same codes over and over again and I'm gonna put in some fake codes here so say we're giving a 50% away uh, discount I would give uh, some fake codes. so I'll just say fake code fake code you could put whatever codes you want in here so these would be discount codes that that customers would get when they opt into the page so here in your thank you page scripts you would paste your 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 retargeting script in here and that's and your thank you page is now going to get a unique URL so um, I'm not gonna bother pasting the pasting the script in right now because I don't want to take the time on the video but it would be the same the exact same pixel that we had before I don't have it in my clipboard ready to go right now so just imagine that it's in there and I'm gonna save the promotion and now what we have is for that thank you page we have a unique URL. Remember when we tar when we targeted before, when we created that retargeting campaign based off of the URL of the landing page? This is the URL that they go to when they get the code. So if I go to this, if I go to this landing page on my seller pal and say get my discount code, that URL that they went to just now where they just got their their unique code is this URL that we just saw in that we just saw within the the admin section here. So I'm going to take that URL and now I'm going to show you on Facebook how to create a custom conversion. So anyone who clicked on this button, you want to be able to to know that they that they took you up on an offer. Now we don't know that they actually bought it on Amazon, but if they get this far, you have a pretty good feeling that they're they're at least interested, and that's what you want to target. That's what you really want to target and optimize for next. So I'm going to go into next. I'm going to show you on 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 Facebook how to create a custom conversion based off of this. All right, so here we are on Facebook and we're going to go and create a custom conversion for people who actually clicked on our code, uh, clicked on our button and, and took a code, got a discount code. So here I'm gonna click create custom conversion and in here you have a few different options, URL contains, equals, event, all this kind of stuff. What we're going to do here is we're going to do that the URL equals, and remember our thank you page had a had a distinct URL for that for that for that um, promotion that we we applied. So I'm going to paste this here. That was from our other uh, our other page there. So I'm going to go and and choose a category. So what this is actually, let me just go back here. What this is saying is that anybody who who ha with your pixel goes to this specific URL is going to be considered a conversion in this category. So they click that button, they got the code, they went to this URL, we want to consider that a, a conversion. So what I do for standard events here for Facebook, which shows up in the reports, I consider this an add to cart. Sometimes I'll consider it a purchase. It's up to you on, on what you want to do with this. Um, I'm just going to consider it an add to cart for this, for this purpose. And then you would put in here a name. I'm going to put in yoga mat. Uh, code redeem or taken so 
I'm not going to set a conversion value. So then we're going to create this, and now this custom conversion, we're going to be able to go back, do that retargeting ad that we had before for people who actually visited our page before, and 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 optimize Facebook for conversion. So I'm going to show you that next. All right, so here we are. We're on Facebook, and this is where the the rubber hits the road. This is the this is the really good stuff here. So now. Remember, we had driven traffic to our landing page originally. We started to capture people who had visited our visited our landing page with a tracking pixel. We put that in and we created a custom audience based off of people who had visited that specific landing page. Now what we're doing is before we showed you how to target them with a Facebook ad for, for that those specific people again for a Facebook ad and, and optimize Facebook for clicks. Here what I'm going to show you is to optimize so that those people that come back actually take your code and hopefully go to Amazon and buy your, your product. And as you get more redemptions, Facebook gets smarter and targets more and more people within that group that are likely to take your take you up on your offer. So this is really powerful stuff. So underneath the here I choose the objective conversions here um, I stepped through this before we before I started to record just to precede it now what we do in here for the conversion value I selected in here the yoga mat code taken that was the that was the custom conversion that we just defined just in the previous step of this video. Now it says that it isn't active yet because I haven't started driving traffic to that and taking it. This is just for demo purposes. And you may see that in the beginning when you set yours up as well if you haven't driven any traffic and people aren't converting yet. Um, but that's fine as long as you, you're, you're, you've set that up and so forth, you can still choose that as your conversion here. And then from there, I chose the custom audience that I'll target as yoga mat visits. Now remember, that audience is an audience that we defined for people who had already visited the landing, the landing page previously. <clears throat> now, so what this will do at this point when we run this ad... Facebook is going to target only people who went to that landing page and now is going to start to optimize for conversions. Now you need to get some conversions for Facebook to really take to really start to do its job. So that that does take some time, but this is extremely powerful for 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 optimization here. So again, I hope that this helps you for Amazon sellers. I'm seeing this being really successful in my in my digital brands business, but I'm also seeing it be successful for my for my Amazon physical good, goods businesses. Now, I've only been doing 50% off uh, promotions right at this time. It's as far as I've gotten for testing for this. I've done low price before for reviews and so forth, which we have some documents on on launch processes for getting initial reviews on Facebook. But I am now successfully using this sequence for uh, for 50% off my products, which is fine for me for boosting BSR and for getting initial um, initial people. So, what I want to do as a follow-up sequence to this, and I'll do a video at some point. So for this so like our page my seller pal if you haven't already and <clears throat> what i want to do after this is when i start to get the sales for those people of 50 percent off i'm going to specifically target those people who took my codes and ask them for feedback on my product on facebook and my plan is that if they have great things to say and i can offer great customer service to then give them a link to amazon to hopefully review my product and it's a it's an it's a sequence to get reviews that i want to test out that's totally outside of of the email system of Amazon and so forth. So I'm really excited to try that out. So if you like this, please give it a, a if if this video has been helpful to you, please give it a, give our page my seller pal a like. We have a landing page software that makes it really easy and it's cheaper than any other landing page software out there for Amazon for Amazon sellers to just enter your ASIN and do all of these kind of cool sequences on Facebook and so forth. So I hope this guy helped you out, and if it did, please leave a comment. Um, I would really appreciate it, and a share into any of the Facebook Facebook groups for Amazon sellers. I would absolutely appreciate that if you found some kind of value in this. Thank you again, and uh, good luck with everything. Take care.